Hey, way back when, in the social studies days, there was this guy named René Descartes. René Descartes, he was a French guy. And he came up with this idea that you could map out your mathematics on what he called the Cartesian plane. So he invented the Cartesian plane. And as you know, a plane is just a flat expanse of some kind. And the Cartesian plane, if you take the universe and you map it out as a two-dimensional plane like this, he said that if you put a something called a y-axis on it and a x-axis on it, you could define any location on this plane of the universe simply by having an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate in this location here would be a 4 comma 3. So he came up with the Cartesian plane, but the plane is supposed to go on forever in all directions. So it's infinite in size. And that means that if you take your standard Cartesian plane as we're used to seeing it, and you draw a line through it, let's draw this line here, because it's infinite, everything on this side is in fact the same size as everything on that side. This vertical line will have split the universe in half. Half of infinity is still half of infinity. So we can call this half the right half, whoops, half plane. And so a half plane then is everything that's on one side of a line. This would be the left half plane. So the left half plane and the right half plane can be spoken of when you have a vertical line. Moving right along then, what happens if we have a horizontal line? Let's draw a horizontal line on this plane. And when we have a horizontal plane, obviously we split the universe in half again, but instead of a left and a right half plane, we have an upper half plane and a lower half plane. Now everything's simple as long as we have one of these two things. Either we have the vertical split where we have a left and a right or we have the horizontal split where we have an upper and a lower. And we can talk about half planes all day long. Problem arises when you have a line that is not vertical or horizontal. So if we split the universe this way, and we have an area over here, and a separate area over here, we have to come up with some ideas to what we'll call this area and what we'll call this area. So the wizards over in the math department have decided that whenever you have a line that's not vertical, not vertical, so this diagonal line is not vertical, and if it went the other way, like a negative slope like this, it would still be not vertical. And any times you have a not vertical line, this is called the upper half plane. And down here is the lower half plane. So having an upper and a lower half plane makes sense whenever there's a vertical. Let's summarize it here on this page. Hang on a sec. 